Hi, I'm Joe DuPont and today I'd like to show you the basics of tying up a bobber and jig setup for steelhead fishing. So basically you'll need the material you'll see here on this table. So first of all we'll need a bobber stop which you use to help set the depth you want the, uh, your bait to fish at. We'll need a couple of beads to prevent your bobber from slipping up your line. We'll have a couple corkies that we uh, use to uh, help indicate that your jig is floating where it should be. We have a whole variety of bobbers that you can use in different scenarios. Uh, we have two uh, barrel swivel you'll need, a variety of weights you can use again in different scenarios, and then the jig or hook that you might use for bait. So the way you do this is very simple. So take a bobber stop, and you, just, you can buy them in these plastic tubes like this. You just slide it right over your line. Uh, you, pull the, you pull the thread off the bobber stop and then you just pull it tight. You want to pull it nice and snug so it doesn't slide up and down easily. And then cut the tag ends off pretty close to the knot. The next step is to put a bead on. Remember the bead is to help make sure the bobber won't slide over the bobber stop. Then we put on the corky, which remember is to help uh, indicate whether our jig is floating properly. Then I, as I indicated earlier, there's a whole variety of different bobbers we can use. I'll just select this one in this case. You slide that on next. Then we have a variety of weights you can use. In this case, I'm just going to use a slip, uh, slip sinker. We'll slide that on next. Then we tie on our swivel. And then finally we have the jig or the bait you want to use. In this case I'm just going to tie on a jig but you can also put on uh, a hook with shrimp on it or eggs. A lot of people like to use different types of things. Typically I like to use a little bit lighter line that goes between my jig and the swivel. That way if you snag your swivel up or your, your jig up you can break it off without breaking off the rest of your, line, your setup. And we usually have about a foot and a half line between the swivel and the jig. And when all, all's done, we have a setup just like this with a bobber stop, a bead, a corky, the bobber, a weight, a swivel, and the jig.